action. You're not alone. For us, it's more than a case. It's personal. Download the Local 3 News and Weather apps now. I feel a little bit nostalgic this morning because my daughter Emily's first experience in ballet in Chattanooga was at Karen Horton School of Dance. And I bet an awful lot of you watching are thinking, oh, my child danced there or my grandson used to take dance lessons there. So I am so happy this morning to talk about Karen Horton School of Dance and kind of a new path they are going down. Karen's daughter, April Prestwood, joins us this morning. Good to see you. We've got, <laughs> we've got Kleenex handy. April it's has true. it tucked behind her. Because you love your mom. Oh, I love her so much. And you love that studio. <laughs> I do. Uh, she went into labor uh, the night I was born, and she finished that dance class because Stop she was it. not going to make it up. So I, I was truly born there. <laughs> I wanted to mention Almost. my experience with Karen Horton because I, if you've been in Chattanooga any length of time, there's a really good chance that you've stepped through the doors or been to a recital of Karen Horton School of Dance. <laughs> so about a month ago, you kind of learned that things were not maybe gonna happen, right? You're scrambling to keep the doors open in a way. It's true. Um, it's a month and a half ago, not even quite, I got a phone call. April, it's, we're not gonna open again this year. And, uh, you know, I went through a full body numbness. <laughs> you sure. know, I think I stopped breathing for a day. Uh, and then I was like, what can we do? You know, this can't, this can't happen. Let's, right. let's start a, a new old dance studio. So kind of as we're talking and we're feeling our way through, so um, we're going to talk a little bit of the, of the past and the beautiful stories that they've seen there at Karen Horton School of Dance, but look ahead to the future. And it really starts on Saturday because you're having a really fun party and registrations for your classes. It's true, it's true. You have to come in and see us. We are doing a giant costume sale. You're gonna meet our great teachers that are so much fun. We have a free dance lesson at 10.30, an international dance party and just stuff all day from 10 to four at the studio. I think it really shows your love, not only of your mom and your experience at that studio, but your love of the community, because so many hundreds and hundreds of people have danced with you and you've empowered people in ways you might not ever know. And it's a real labor of love for you to keep those doors open, but you are changing the name. Yes, we're gonna be River City Rhythm. Uh, we're keeping what we love about Karen Horton School of Dance. We're gonna have that heart, that joy, uh, but we're gonna evolve and grow along with our great city. So talk about your mom. I cannot believe the story <laughs> that you just told me that she went into labor and finished the class. That's yeah. dedication. She's a force of nature. Yeah. Uh, anyone who knows her would say that. <laughs> but she, uh, she opened in that location in 1970, one classroom, the desk in the same room, and then wow. <laughs> oh, it's almost 55 years now and grew you know, into three studios and a reception room. We have generations that have, have taken dance, you know, the, the mother, mm -hmm. the grandmother. You right. know? Uh, I have students even that I taught when they were young that have gone off to, to college and taken dance and are now gonna come teach at River City Rhythm. Well, and you know, <laughs> when you mention the instructors, how people can come and meet them on Saturday, uh, when you have a good dance instructor, that's so much more than just learning how to do first and fifth positions. I mean, oh, they become gosh. mentors to these girls. Oh, it, right? it's true, <laughs> it's true. I've been fortunate enough to have the same group of girls with me since they were in kindergarten and they're in high school now. Wow. Uh, it's amazing to be part of their lives and to just also have this like safe, warm space that they can come and be kids still right. you know they don't get to do that as much i want to talk about your costume sale on Ooh. saturday so fun <laughs> fact about me because i have two daughters um yeah. i have my old dance costumes from when i was little that's awesome at my house and my children used to play dress up in those so when you get a good tutu you don't get rid of it no, it can be, you can be a flower, a, a bride. I mean, it can be so many things. Yes, but yours are beautiful. We have some really gorgeous costumes. It's wild. We have a giant room full of them. Hats, leotards. We have a ton of used dance shoes. We're gonna do a, a, Oh, that's good. Yeah, it's great. So it's a great time to replenish your dance shoes. Um, you mentioned to me as we sat down about your history of TAP, the reputation yes. you have for TAP. So while you want to bring your children to sign up, you've long done adult classes, including TAP, if I'm right. Absolutely. Ballet, TAP, jazz, and, and other things around the years. 
Uh, tap is a true love of mine. When I was about 12 years old, I just dove into it. So I think everybody should tap, but <laughs> they just don't know it yet. Um, uh, but we've had groups of women that have danced together for more than a decade. So in addition to dance together, they're just wonderful support and well, friends. Well, it's its own exercise, right? Yeah. I mean, forget the gym. Come sign up for a couple of classes and mm -hmm. you get to laugh and have a good time, make friends, but you're True. exercising. You are exercising. And something I always say during my adult classes, because I just think it's the coolest thing ever. Um, when you dance, you build new pathways in your brain. So dance is something that really helps stave off uh, dementia and keeps our brains young oh, on tops of our of our bodies being uh, healthy. Is that amazing? A, yeah, that's a great plug. <laughs> I love that. So this Saturday, 10 to 4, mm -hmm. come to what is still going to stay on the outside, Karen Horton yes. School of Dance. Uh, know that when you come, you are truly part, I mean, it's the fabric of Chattanooga, 55 years on mm -hmm. over in the Hickson Pike area. But then watch as you follow them on social media and that type of thing, because it's mm -hmm. going to slowly evolve into River City Rhythm. Oh, yeah. As you move into the new future for y'all. I think it's going to be a good thing. I'm so excited. I would, if you had worn tap shoes, I would have let you tap us out. But you can snap us out. <laughs> so we're going to give you the information we have right now. River City Rhythm. Uh, on Facebook, it's still going to be Karen Horton School of Dance. That's right. 10 to 4 this Saturday. If you want to call them, they're still answering those phones. 875-6720. Bottom line, they are not closing. Not, not, not. They are just rebranding and ready for you. Classes start September 9th. Oh, yeah. <laughs> West Yellow Knife Trading Post has everything under the sun. First quality LVP click lock with 12 mil wear layer, nine great colors. Plus unbox click lock at $1,000.